Hey guys, so today I'm doing something that I never thought I'd do before, and even the thought of it just makes me sick to my stomach, but here we go. I'm deciding to make an Apple iOS app that'll be on the Apple App Store, available for iPhones, iPods, and iPads. Yeah, I'll, I'll let that sink in. Okay, so yeah, I never really wanted to do this, and a lot of you probably already know that I dislike Apple. I hate iPhones, I hate iPods, I hate iPads, I hate Macs. I hate anything associated with apples, unless it's a green apple, because those actually taste good. So, yeah, anything apple related, again, green apples excluded, sucks. But, I can't depend on Google to be my main source of income, because they're just not something I can, they're not a company I can depend on. Because a lot of you probably already know that my Google Play developer account got taken down for an invalid reason, and they will do nothing to help me, and they suck. I hate Google and I hate the Google Play developer account system and that doesn't mean I'm giving up on the Google Play Store or MCPE Mod Locator. I still want to continue to de uh, developing MCPE Mod Locator and I have a lot of stuff I've been working on and I'm attempting to get it on the Play Store again but I don't know how it's going to go. But if I get it on the Play Store then that will be my main focus. You know, Android development will, you know, I want to continue with Android stuff but like I said I just can't depend on it and with it being my main source of income if I can't depend on it that's just a lot of crap so I wanted to start making iOS stuff because uh, they get paid more it's good knowledge to have for the future and they are just more dependable because they actually have a support team that you can call and if you think you were suspended for an invalid reason, you can call them up and say, hey, this is what happened, and have an actual chance of getting your account back. Where with Google, I actually did. They unsuspended my account for about four hours and then banned it again. Because, oh, wait, we made a mistake. I don't know. I couldn't wrap my mind around that one. I mean, I understand that Google makes mistakes, and I'm, they make a lot more than anybody, any other company I've ever seen in my life. But really, you unsuspend somebody and then resuspend them within four hours? Really? Now there's Google for you. So anyways, Apple's just more dependable. And that doesn't mean that I'm going to be using an iPhone or anything like that you know, every day. I might maybe buy an iPod just so I can test the app out. But even then, I'm not going to use it for anything else because, come on, it's, it's an iPod. Uh, but yeah, Android's still going to be my main, you know... Uh, my main operating system, my main whatever. I'm going to be using my Note 4 and my Nexus 7 still. There we go. I'm going to, you know, when I do tutorials and videos and stuff here on YouTube, it's always going to be Android. The only time I'd ever make an iOS video is when it's about the app that I'm considering or probably going to be making. And speaking of that, I actually don't have any app ideas for iOS yet. And that's what I wanted to make this video about is to get some ideas from you guys about different apps I could put on the Apple App Store. And I know a lot of you have probably asked before or might want to ask now about MCPE Mod Locator for iOS, but unfortunately that will not be able to make its way on the App Store just because iOS is a locked down system and an app like MCPE Mod Locator just wouldn't work. Same thing with really any of my apps like you know MCPE World Manager, MCPE Texture Pack Installer, MCPE Mod Locator, that kind of stuff. It just won't work with iOS. Because MCPE Mod Locator has to download files, and then those files have to be accessible by like Block Launcher or something like that, or they have to access Minecraft files. And with iOS, apps can't interact with each other like that. They can't edit each other's files. They all are locked into their own area. So MCPE Mod Locator, just the apps that I've made for a while, will not work. So that's where I need other ideas. What kind of Minecraft related apps would you want to see? Like, you know, a crafting guide or. Uh, a news app or something like that. I'm considering that kind of stuff, but if you guys have other ideas that you'd like to see, uh, definitely leave your comments down below because I just want to get started on this and see how it goes. And if it doesn't work out, then you know I won't upload it to the Apple App Store because I don't even have a developer account yet. I just have the tools for making an app and I've kind of looked through them a little bit. Um, but I haven't really started in on, on anything. But I do want to learn the system and I want to, you know, just I want to make an app for iOS. And I know I have a few iOS viewers out there that uh, I have, they've asked for MCPE Mod Locator on iOS a lot of times. So I want to bring something to the iOS side and, you know, 
Probably what I would do is make an iOS and Android app if I have my Google Play developer account. If I don't have my Google Play developer account, then I wouldn't even worry about making you know, an iOS and Android app, you know, the same apps on both sides. I'd just make an iOS app and leave it at that. And if I don't get my Google Play developer account back at all, I still won't try to like stop MCPE mod locator development. I'll do what I've been doing and that's just hosting it on my server, maybe upload it to the Amazon marketplace or, you know, one mobile market, mobile genie, whatever uh, market like that. I'd still try to do something like that so I can continue to develop to develop for the Android users because I love developing for Android. It's easy and it's just, it's really fun. At least easy. Uh, I think it's easy. Some people don't. I just, I really like developing for Android and I do not want to stop developing for it. I still want to have that knowledge and the experience with it and I just want to have fun with it. So that's what I want to do if I don't get my Google Play developer account back. But I want to develop for both sides, both operating systems. And I know a lot of you will either, I know some of you will hate this, you know, hate that I'm making iOS and spending the time with it. And some of you are going to really like it because you wanted to see an app that I make on the Apple App Store. So yeah, just leave your comments down below. I'm just rambling at this point. Uh, leave your comments down below and uh, I'll look over those and see what I can do. And I hope you all enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.